Former New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg made early headlines right here in New Hampshire today. Not even on the ballot here, but what he did that convinced some voters to go with him in Dixville Notch. Of course, the first town to report results. A tiny sliver of a sample, but part of the tradition here. And Bloomberg coming in first. But the former mayor is also being forced to respond tonight to audio that's newly surfaced. On the recording, you can hear Bloomberg talking about the controversial police practice called stop and frisk. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, tonight also right here in New Hampshire. Michael Bloomberg isn't even on the ballot here in New Hampshire, but he scored a PR coup by coming in first in the tiny, tiny town of Dixville Notch. Two, one. There are only five voters in Dixville Notch, and Bloomberg called most of them directly. He called several of us and uh, talked to us and answer, answered questions. After spending some $200 million on TV ads, Bloomberg is surging in national polls, even gaining support among African American voters, up to 22% in one poll. But he is facing new criticism after a recording from 2015 surfaced of the former mayor defending his controversial stop and frisk policy. It gave police authority to detain people suspected of committing a crime and searching them for weapons. The targets, overwhelmingly black and Latino. 95% of your murders and murderers and murder victims fit in one MO. You can just take the description, Xerox it, and pass it out to all the cops. They are male minorities, 15 to 25. Bloomberg then bluntly described his policy. We put all the cops in minority neighborhoods. Yes, that's true. Why we do it? Because that's where all the crime is. And the way you get the guns out of the kids' hands is uh, to throw them against the wall and, and frisk them. Today, one of Bloomberg's Democratic opponents took aim. Some people are saying it flatly it's racist. Have you, what do you, what's your take? Well, yeah, certainly uh, any law enforcement strategy that seems to regard people as profile rather than as human beings, especially uh, seeing how this has disproportionately impacted uh, black and brown Americans, is uh, something that, that just has no place uh, in an equitable future. Even President Trump tweeted out the audio with the caption, wow, Bloomberg is a total racist, before deleting the tweet. Although Trump himself has repeatedly promoted stop and frisk. It worked very well in New York. It brought the crime rate way down. Bloomberg himself apologized for his policy months ago, just after launching his presidential campaign. I now see that we could and should have acted sooner and acted faster to cut the stops. I wish we had. I'm sorry that we didn't. So let's get to John Carl, also with us live tonight, right here in New Hampshire. And we saw you were with uh, Pete Buttigieg earlier today. Now you're at headquarters right there in Nashua. You caught up with the mayor. He's already seizing on that audio. What's the reaction tonight from Team Bloomberg? Well, the Bloomberg campaign has put out a statement from the mayor noting uh, that he had previously apologized for how he handled stop and frisk as mayor. But, David, he showed offered no apology for his words. And, in fact, he spent most of the statement he released on this today attacking Donald Trump, saying to the president, quote, I will do everything I can to defeat you. David. John Carl with us tonight as well. Our thanks to you, John, and our entire political team right here in New Hampshire. It is going to be a very important night for the Democrats as this race moves forward, and we will bring you the results as they come in. Live coverage right here on ABC and on ABC News Live. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.